Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and how the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 1st of January. India records 636 new COVID-19 cases, 3 deaths in 24 hours. Nepal court indict star cricketer Sandeep Lamichane in rape case. And Sri Lanka raises taxes ahead of foreign debt deal. And now for all the details, India on Monday recorded 636 new cases of COVID-19, while the number of active cases of the infection have increased to 4,394, the Health Ministry has informed. Three new fatalities, two from Kerala and one from Tamil Nadu, have been reported in a span of 24 hours. Authorities have advised citizens to follow pandemic norms of wearing masks, social distancing and regular cleaning of hands, especially during the holiday season. More than a dozen infections of JN1 subvariant have particularly sparked concerns since last month. As the new year rings in, both the central and state governments are keeping a close watch on the new Omicron subvariant JN1. The Indian Space Agency ISRO began the year with yet another achievement as it successfully launched the X-ray polarimeter satellite ExpoSat on Monday. Addressing the scientists after the successful launch of the mission, the ISRO chief S. Somnath said the new year began with the successful launch and the agency is looking for an exciting time ahead for space exploration. The spacecraft was placed into the intended orbit of 650 km, where it will study X-ray emission from various celestial sources. It was the first dedicated scientific satellite from India, putting it in elite category to send an observatory to study astronomical sources such as black holes and neutron stars. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of PSLV has been accomplished. PSLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite ExpoSat in the desired orbit of 650 km. 6 degree inclination and we'll be waiting for the exact uh, orbital parameters that will just now come. A day after Pakistan election body rejects former Prime Minister Imran Khan's nomination for 2024 elections, PTI Party Central Information Secretary Rauf Hassan said that their party will approach election tribunals to challenge the move. Khan, who is serving a three-year prison sentence for corruption, was barred from politics for five years by the Election Commission of Pakistan. Hassan added that some candidates would be filing appeals with the appellate tribunals through private lawyers, while others would be offered parties' help. The Pakistan general election will be held on February 8 this year. The other main contender, former PM Nawaz Sharif's PMLN party, has also been holding meetings with politicians to strengthen its position. The Election Commission of Pakistan has allocated nearly 17 billion rupees for security linked to the polling. A Nepal court this past weekend indicted star Nepali cricketer Sandeep Lamichane in a rape case. A single judge bench in its verdict found the former captain of Nepal's cricket team guilty of sexual offence. The subsequent hearings will be decided over his jail term, the court information officer has said. Lami Chane is likely to get a jail term of 10 to 12 years as per Nepal's law since the victim was a minor at the time of incident. The 23-year-old cricketer who has led the national team in the past has been the face of cricket in Nepal, being the only player from the Himalayan country to feature in prominent 2020 leagues across the world. The Sri Lankan government raised retail fuel prices by Rs 20, effective from Monday, in its monthly revision, making it the first retail price hike of any commodity under the imposition of new value added tax rates. President Ranil Vikramasinghe said that in order to achieve economic stability, the country must continue to forge ahead of its demanding path. Last month, the International Monetary Fund approved the release of the second tranche of $337 million to the cash-trapped island nation, bringing the value of disbursement of $670 million in four-year facility. 
The island nation is gradually recovering after the crisis sent the economy into free fall last year with soaring inflation, currency depreciation and low foreign reserves. Bangladesh garment factories have fired hundreds of workers since protests in October demanding higher wages. Three labor unions representing half a million workers have claimed. Talking to Reuters, representatives of three unions, Bangladesh Garments and Industrial Workers Federation, National Garment Workers Federation and Bangladesh Garments Workers Unity Council estimated that 1,000 to 5,000 workers had either been fired in the last two months or had gone into hiding. However, garment manufacturers and exporters unions claim they are not aware of any retrenchment. Bangladesh, with more than 4,000 garment factories, rely on some 4 million workers to supply major Western brands thanks to low wages. The government in November had agreed to raise minimum wages by more than 56%, but workers have termed it as low. People across India welcome New Year by witnessing the first sunrise of 2024, while a huge part of the population visited places of worship for a better and prosperous year ahead. Have a look. People across parts of India on Monday ushered in the New Year 2024 with celebrations and witnessing the sunrise while a huge populace visited places of worship to seek blessings of the divine for a new beginning. Hundreds of devotees thronged the famous Badena temple in Jharkhand to seek blessings for the well-being and happiness of their families and the loved ones. Similar serpentine lines were seen in holy city Ayodhya, where people waited for long hours to visit the Hanuman Gadi temple. No, every year, but this time we have come. Like in the past, it happens in the year many times. But this time it happened that we have come to the new year and have come to the new year. Meanwhile, braving the winter chill, devotees also took holy dip in the river Ganga in holy cities of Haridwar and Prayagraj to mark the occasion. Much enthusiasm was seen on the very first day with tourists arriving in the city from different states. People in India believe that the blessings of God should be sought before beginning anything new more so on the first day of the new year. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.